From the southern tip of Vancouver Island, we say good afternoon from Victoria, BC. Langford, to be precise, as we get set for the final match in round number five of the Canadian Premier League Pacific, hosting York United. Five changes in this 4-3-3 for Pacific today, including a couple of big names up top. Adonijah Reed at the number nine. Kakuta Mane makes his first start for PFC. Martin Nash has elected to make four changes and a formation change today. Roger Thompson picked up a knock left to the match after 25 minutes. He is out of the team dealing with a groin injury. Matthew Baldissimo against his former side in midfield. Clément Baia on the right wing. Austin Ricci and Brian Wright up top in this 4-4-2. Get that cautioning out of the way, and Adam Ajari can go through the motions once again. Josh Hurt at the near post. Fuller oh, perfect shoots in behind. Oh, Dimitch goes up, puts it down! Off the crossbar and in! A scintillating bit of skill for the near to go up in the air and want it more than anybody else. As Adam Ajari puts it in a spot that only the big center back can get to. And Pacific have an early goal. A big coup for them this time. Hurts cross. Oh. Back towards the spot. Reed was nearby, but so was Mane. Let's see. It's Fai and Dos Santos. Very close to the 18, so not a long run up. And it is Santos. A missile in the wall. Pops back out and presented Black for the second time. Samara. And then, of course, Time with the Ottawa Fury, FC Dallas. It's a connection with Jamar Dixon, who is now in the front office here for Pacific. Mane, great looking call for Sean Young. Can't keep it down. He wanted that top right corner. Same corner, really, from, from Pacific. Like you said, Young and G, that Young trying to use G essentially at himself as, as a pick to get Didic through. Good forward run from Santos as it bubbles around. Smukambiwa touch. Gazdoff wasn't sure where it was. He's trying to slide York United around or Pacific right now. Advantage being played as Reed had to work for that one. Now up the said than done when it's 27 degrees and feeling a bit warmer, but tempo was going to be very important for York United here in this second half as they try to claw their way back. Ricci single-handedly moving forward. He gets a shot off. Emil Gazdov dies to the right. Kevin Santos from the corner. a state of confusion here at Starlight Stadium as Kevin Santos nearly has an Olympico. Emil Gazdoff might need to find a new glove supplier. They've not been sticky enough as another one gets through him. Gazdoff, a howler, and that's going to be stepped on side. Ricci should have buried. Sazadi Rosario and another substitute getting ready for Martin Nash. Santos, a change of speed, a great cross, cast off redeems himself. Brilliant reflexes to deny a sure goal. It is all York United at the moment. The pendulum has just swung to the other side. 
Fair Jaguar, Kittich, Ungaro, Daniels. To say a short option, and that's where the ball goes. Back to Yates. Here's his cross towards the top. Ungaro meets it. If Brem's not careful, he might fall victim to the Alex Ashmore Janssen problem where he prefers to play as a six piece in such a good center. <laughs> Didich. Better distribution from Pacific as Dada Luke gets a step on Wojciechowski. Referee allowing play to continue. Garo hooks it back to Daniels. Now he has options. Daniels for Brazil. Touch to the right. Escapes in possession, using that long pass to find Daniels. Do Pacific have a fourth? Nearly. Yeah, played an instrumental role in getting Pacific in control of this game 2 0 up. Just a really enjoyable player to watch. Got such good feet. He's brave, he's willing to take physical contacts, even not being the biggest player. Looks like a real asset for Pacific in, in any position. star they will hope as Osazi Di Rosario is caught in an offside position and ladies and gentlemen a convincing win for Pacific